what's up you guys welcome back to my channel my name is india if you didn't know if you do welcome, welcome back with your one so today you guys got bill burr black friends clothes in harlem now i have reacted to bill burr before he is pretty pretty funny so we're gonna see how this one is and if you guys want bill burr to stay on this channel let me know down in the comments smash the like button if you're new hit that red one so what is this is gonna be like a try not to laugh challenge if he makes us laugh you guys have to smash it you guys have to smash that like button let's go you guys Actually, I got a couple of uh, friends of uh, African persuasion, and uh, I gotta get rid of them, man. I gotta admit to you. Oh. I'm fine. I'm spending too much money on clothes, hanging out with them, because I gotta like fucking try to keep up with their wardrobe. It's like every time they go out, they got all brand new shit on. All brand new shit. So when I show up with my white version of brand new, which is you know, I basically I iron the shit, right? <laughs> I ironed it, right? It's new. <laughs> we don't and iron. They start trashing. <laughs> I can't keep up with them, man. They got like fucking 58 <laughs> pairs of sneakers. Ever notice that shit? Like every color fucking Timberland. And I don't give a shit what fucked up color their shirt is. They got a pair of shoes to match it and a hat. <laughs> you know it. Oh, we. It's like a rule or something. They're the worst. Even when you wear some new shit, there's like some sort of rule that you got to like space out the amount of time with, within which like that you wear it. Because God forbid you wear the same shirt within a 10-day period, one of them's going to notice. All of a sudden, just look at you funny like, this motherfucker's got the same shit he had on last Tuesday. <laughs> and then the whole car's like, oh, shit! <laughs> and everybody just starts He called him out. Fucking close. First they do the math, like, what was that, five days ago? Five days, this motherfucker got five shirts. He got five <laughs> shirts. They start breaking it down. Yo, his first shirt be saying Monday. Next shit be saying Tuesday. Yo, on the weekend, he ain't wearing no shirt. I'll tell you, that's actually funny. You know what? That's actually how, uh, how I judge black guys now. When I first came to the city, like, all black people scared me. No, I was like the typical white dude from, like, the suburbs. You know what I mean? I had no frame of reference, you know? So my only frame of reference with black people was, like, the, remember those early 90s gangster rap videos? Throw the fucking LA riots in there, man. It was fucking horrible PR. I'm watching the videos. Look, he's got a nice car, he's got all the women, and he's still fucking mad. These black dudes are never happy. <laughs> after 10 years of living in the city, this is how I narrow it down. Whether well, black dude scares me not. Black dudes with dirty sneakers scare the fucking shit out of me. <laughs> no. Because I know from hanging out with them, that's the last shit that they're gonna let go. The immediate shit that they have on. So I think, you know, if his sneakers are fucked up, that means his life is fucked up. Every time he leaves his building, he ain't got nothing to lose. Oh shit! <laughs> Everyone starts <laughs> making fun of him. He's on the train in a bad mood. I kind of have this howdy doody kind of mug me kind of face. Now, I'm not saying something's gonna happen. I'm just saying I'm paying attention. <laughs> so I've been seeing this girl recently, uh, this black girl, right? She lives up in Harlem, you know? Gone out like three, four times, you know? First time we hung out, we hung out in like the village okay. in New York. You know? Okay, Bill! Like racially mixed area. So shit was cool, you know what I mean? Second time we hung out was more like midtown, you know? Then the third time, she called me at like 3.30 in the morning, and she wanted me to come up to her apartment, right? So it's 3.30 in the morning, she lives in Harlem, I look how I look, so it's a fucking situation. Booty call? <laughs> Cause you know the deal, right? Basically a white dude feels comfortable up to about like 98th, 99th street, you know what I'm saying? The second the streets start getting into like triple digits, like 100, 101st street, start getting like a little asthma, like, ah, oh, fuck, it's starting to get a little high up here. You feel that like little tightness in your chest? Can you feel that? 106th street, you're like leaning on shit, like, dude, where'd all the cabs go? How come there's no taxis up here? Dude, what's a bodega? I don't know what that is. Let's get, let's get the <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> so I'm praying to God she's gonna tell me to take the subway, get off at like 105th Street, 103rd, you know, which is like the first stop in Harlem where I can still look over my shoulder and see like all the white people like disappearing over the horizon, you know? <laughs> she goes, no, man. No. Uptown 2 3 train, you wanna get off at 125th Street. I'm like, ah, fuck, 125th Street. Jesus Christ, it's like right in the middle of everything. I'm gonna be surrounded on all 
Oh, four <laughs> sides, I can't fucking do this. <laughs> Too much pressure. So, at this point, I'm really trying to hide like the bitchy tone that's starting to creep into my voice, you know? And I'm trying to ask for really specific directions when I get up there, because I want to know exactly where I'm going. So she starts naming the streets I have to go down, and every other street up there is named up like a black leader, you know? She's like, make a left on Adam Clayton, take a right on Frederick Douglass. I'm like, ah, fuck Adam Clayton. <laughs> Bruh. He tripping. Did he kill a bunch of white people during the slave revolt? Dude, I ain't going up there till I know what Adam Clayton is. Fuck this shit. <laughs> so at this point, I'm really having a battle with myself. Because I'm thinking I can't do this, right? I'm like, I can't do this, but my dick's going, no, come on, man, we can do this, all right? Just relax. <laughs> Pull yourself together and get on the goddamn train, right? So as always, I listen to my dick. Oh yeah, I get on the train. By the time I get up there, it's like right. five or four in the morning, right? I'm staying on like Malcolm X and like Danny Glover or some shit, right? I don't even know where the hell I'm at. <laughs> but I see the street I want to go up. I want to go up St. Nick. I can literally see her apartment building. But there's like five or six black dudes standing right on the corner, right where I want to walk by. I'm like, fuck! <laughs> I felt like I was on like some reality show at that point, like some sort of like white guy survivor. He was ridiculous. <laughs> so I'm thinking I gotta walk right by these guys, right? You know what's funny? I think that they were actually more surprised to see me than I was scared, you know? And I was really, really scared, you know? But I'm also really, <laughs> really white, you know? Like shockingly Caucasian. You know what I mean? Like if you're not ready for it, I can like survive. What? <laughs> Especially if you live up there, you've probably seen a white person for hours, possibly days. So when I show up, it's almost like magical, like a leprechaun <laughs> came out of nowhere, you know? I felt like I should have had like a little <laughs> pot of gold, like a rainbow behind me. Top of the morning to you, like it. Just kind of dance my way past them. <laughs> but it's been going all right, you know? Once I get in her apartment, I'm fine, you know? I relax. Sit down, you know, watch a hip-hop countdown. <laughs> Pretend like I know Damn. what Damn! It took him that long to get over there. The ass. But you know, I don't get mad at it. <laughs> you know, black dudes gotta go through the same shit. Right? When you go out to the suburbs, go fuck a white girl. Right? Just that same awful feeling of just leaving your people behind, you know, just less and less of you as you're fucking driving out <laughs> What there. the fuck? You probably start off lean and you're all fucking cool. 20 minutes in, you're driving like 10 and 2, the radio's off. Like, dude, I don't like this shit. I don't like this shit at all. There's too much grass, uh, I don't see any rims. This is fucked up. None of the windows are tinted. I can clearly see white people in every corner. I'm done. Is up. Listen, you guys were awesome. Thank you so much for coming out. God bless you. Thank you very much. Why was that funny? This is Bill Burr, Black Friends, Clothes, and Harlem. I'm mad it took him that long just to get over there to a booty call. Like, what the heck? Did he even get any or um? Or did they just keep watching the damn countdown on the hip hop? Let me know how you guys feel about Bill Burr. If you guys want to stay on this channel, smash that like button if he made you laugh. If Bill Burr made you laugh, smash that like button, hit that around with you guys. This was pretty funny, you guys. This was pretty funny. He basically like, I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> and then he said the black people change when they get in the suburbs. <laughs> that was so damn funny. And he was talking about the clothes. Oh, that was so funny. When you can relate to jokes, it makes it way more funnier. <laughs> Let me know if you guys lost. Try not to laugh challenge. Let's go, y'all.